Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we are returning to our ultra capitalist playthrough of Germany in Democracy 4. So, in the first episode, we did do a couple of things. We privatized the first industries, we did get rid of some of the grit uh, in our economy. Um, and that was pretty successful already, I think. So we've at least uh, restructured our our society somewhat. At least it's going to make long-term changes specifically to the number of capitalists. So I think that's going to be great. Um, but we do definitely need to work further. And one of the things that I'm really, really concerned about is the fact that we have still this uncompetitive economy. It's decreasing our GDP. It's making our capitalists less happy. And it's just not a good thing to have. So we do need to improve productivity further. It's going to go up anyway uh, due to a couple of things that we did over here. But there are also still quite a couple of negative changes here uh, to our productivity. And one of the worst ones that we can directly influence is maternity leave. So right now the state is um, giving three quarters pay to women uh, once they are pregnant and they want to take maternity leave. That's leading to huge improvement in gender equality. It's making us more compassionate. P parents like it. Productivity, on the other hand, is going down. So you know you know what we're going to do. We're going to cancel this policy and find out just what long-term changes this will have on us. And I'm slightly concerned about that, but let's find out. Um, and go to the next quarter over here. We're going to face, um, as usual, one dilemma. Ban face recognition in public. No, I think we're going to be quite open to any any technological change over here, so let's do that. GDP is still improving, so that's nice to see. Uh, crime is going down, unemployment's coming down, and poverty is actually really, really low, um, which will probably change at some point, but yeah, we're going to see about that. Health is also improving, so things are actually looking up, so that's, that's nice to see. We're also running surplus here for the first time on a very significant surplus of 6 billion Euro. So that's actually very, very nice to see, isn't it? Um, how are we looking in terms of political power? We are generating 19 per turn, so that's not bad. Um, and it's kind of interesting to see that. How are we looking, though, in terms of the uncompetitive economy? Yeah, it's starting to look a lot better over here. And that's very, very nice to see. I think probably next time we will be able to get rid of that. But just for good measure. We do have the problem here with the minimum wages. So... Again, it's decreasing poverty, it's making socialists incredibly happy, but it is leading to an increase here in uh, the uncompetitive economy, and does it directly have an impact on productivity? Curiously not, but it is driving up unemployment a little bit, and socialism by a lot. So yeah, we're going to get rid of that too, and this is, this is building or, or just turning the society on its head quite rapidly over here. Um, any policies that we can introduce with one political power? I don't think so. So yeah, basically that's a no. Anything that we can turn up here. The food standard agency, I don't think we want to do that too much. Free school meals, I don't want to improve. Community policing is doing, I think, good things here for our alcohol abuse and antisocial behavior. So that's nice to see. Cyberbullying, still a bit of an issue, but not a big one, honestly. Drug abuse, a big issue, actually. And a lot of people dislike that, and health is, is a bit of an issue there too. And the fact that our healthcare demand is where it is, is also... Yeah, so we do need to affect the drug usage here a little bit more, right? Yeah, I do think so. Also, I do want to address the multinational tax evasion, because we are capitalists, but we are not strictly pro-business. We do want to get our fair share of taxation, um, and we don't want to allow people to withhold their tax. We want to reduce the base rate that everyone is paying, but we want everyone to pay up accordingly. And that would also uh, help us out a little bit over here. But yeah, we don't have... Ooh, look at that. We actually have high productivity now, so that's very great to see. Ha capitalists are happy, GDP is looking great, self-employed are happy, and their income is kind of nice to see as well. There's a big merger, which of course we're going to allow, because why not? Poverty is coming up here, so that's that's a little bit unfortunate because we have uh, cancelled the thing there. Crime is coming down very nicely, though. Unemployment also coming down. That's good to see. And GDP still looking up. While we are still running a very nice surplus, actually, now. We are a little bit lucky here in that the world economy is holding up pretty nicely, so that's good to see. And there is a situation imminent. Well, honestly, it doesn't seem like it. It's pretty stable to me, so... 
Yeah, I think that's nice to see. And it's a little bit curious that the game allows you to have high productivity, mostly due to high productivity, and uncompetitive economy, largely due to low productivity. So that's a little bit schizophrenic, but you can see we are below this trigger point here now. So that definitely means that this is going to go away and that's again going to have a good impact here on the economy. I'm very, very happy about this because that will probably also mean that we are going to run a little bit more for surplus. Yeah, most of our income will be tied to, to that. Nevertheless, a lot of people are still extremely unhappy about us. And most importantly, the motorists, the commuters, the parents, due to all of these negative effects, and actually also the wealthy. So that's, that's interesting, even though there are very, very few of them. Conservatives don't really like us either, nor do the religious people. But capitalists should like us a lot more over time. Yeah, you can see it's, it's pretty much improving, as is their membership. Uh, for now it's actually still worse if their membership improves because the socialists do still like us more than capitalists and if we're changing the membership we're driving them to people who are slightly less happy um, but that's gonna last for long these ha these happiness modifiers here are gonna decrease somewhat it's actually interesting that you are the most upset about the multinationals there what's driving up your the unemployment benefits, yeah, and the multinational tax evasion. So let's try to address that. And I think there's one thing that we want to do over here, and that is the diverted profit tax. Now, I could talk about this for a very, very long time, but I'm not going to. Don't worry. Um, the thing I want to talk about that here is we think that fairness is an important issue, right? So if some people are not paying their taxes, that's not great. And we completely, we are very much on board here with the self-employed who hate that. So... We need to bring that down by around, I would say, 25 percentage points so that we are safely below the stop trigger. So, yeah, let's do that and let's go to tax over here and introduce the diverted profit tax up to a point where this bar here is around minus 25 percent. We don't want to overdo it, basically, uh, but I think if we did it just like a little bit like that, that should already be enough to reduce that so yeah let's, let's be a little bit more comfortable in that just in case a couple of things do change here but yeah that, that seems fine to me capitalists are very unhappy about that but the self-employed are happy socialists though do like it actually a lot um, and foreign relations are actually coming down so that's interesting but i do think it is important so that we are uh, continuing to run our surplus over here 14 political power, I think I want to save up a little bit over here and do something more drastic in the next quarter. Oh, you are actually trying to resign. And you want foreign investment restrictions. I don't think so, my friend. That is definitely a no-no. Richest company is paying no tax, so there we go. That's, that's uh, a big nasty effect because socialism means the membership. So that's that's really not great. But uncompetitive economy has ended. On the other hand, something very drastically has in, become introduced here, and that is we've got pollution. That's a big issue. It's largely driven by our GDP, and we can't really change that. Um, at least we don't want to bring it down. Uh, on the other hand, the environment could be doing a lot better. We are, oh, oh, this is going incredibly badly over here. Right, so we do need to improve our environment by the measures that we have. But well, that's going to be that's going to be quite tough, yeah. And health is plummeting due to the pollution over here, but also crime is coming down. So mm, some things are good, some things are bad. GDP has maxed out now, so that's good to see. Um, and our budget is looking like a very very healthy surplus over here. I'd really like to get a better credit rating now, um, if I could. But yeah, okay. So pollution a big issue. Multinational tax evasion. Starting to come down. Lovely. I like it. Um, gig economy. We're going to keep that. It's not a problem for us. Hospital overcrowding is probably going to get worse because healthcare, healthcare demand is going to increase uh, due to the pollution. And we are not really effective in, in dealing with obesity over here. And the drug usage is still a large, large issue. Even though we've introduced community policing, I don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, it's just going to make a little bit of a more end. So we do need to be a little bit more aggressive about some of these things. This is very nice. Antisocial behavior is going to go away. So that's very nice. That's uh, going to decrease crime by a lot. It's going to increase tourism a little bit. So that's nice. Alcohol abuse. That is coming down very drastically over here. 
But again, probably not going to be enough. So alcohol consumption is still a big issue. And I think that's still a big issue on, on the overall productivity. So we do need to start to address these things a little bit more. Gridlock, you're coming down. That's that's lovely to see because traffic congestion is coming up. They're coming down very much due to the congestion charging here. That's good. I mean, that's that's going to be a huge effect over here. And I think this, this over here, the commuters and motorists, that is one of the biggest issues that we're currently facing. So we do need to actually start to address that. And the most capitalist way I can see that we can do that is by toll roads. So... If it's, if it's in short supply, let's try to tax it. I would love to tax it via satellite road pricing, but that has an introduction cost of 45 political capital, which for the moment we just can't even cough up. So, yeah. We're going to go with toll roads over here. We're going to max that out. Motorists are not going to be happy about that. Commuters are going to be happy. Capitalists are actually very happy about that. That's interesting. Car usage is going to come down and traffic congestion is going to come down. So, I think these are good, good effects here that we can try to use to address this issue here uh, with the car usage a little bit at the very least. I would like to do some of these other things and, and, and get rid of car emission limits and such, but the environment is not doing great, so we do need to try to address that at the very least. This would not help. Yeah, there's not much that we can do. I would like to address the drug problem though, because that is a big issue. And I do think it does make sense to, to try and introduce the Drug Enforcement Agency over here. Because this has just such negative effects here on parents. Yes, they hate us. Uh, but also on health and productivity. So I, I would really, really love to get rid of this. And yeah, again, just community policing is not going to be enough for that. So we do need to bring that down by, I would say, around 20 percentage points. So let's try to do that via law and order systems over here. And try to bring that... Ooh, this is not going to work at all. Oh, but this is drug addiction? Is this drug addiction? Yeah. Okay, so that's really, really not enough. I think we do have to cough up even more here for the police force. Even that is not going to help us a lot. Wow. I thought that would be a lot more effective. What is fueling that? Poverty and unemployment? Can't do that much about that. Narcotics, we could try to outlaw that a little bit more, but that's not really what we want, right? We want to have capitalist solutions to, to any of these problems. So not really something that we can do. Antisocial behavior gone, that's nice to see. Housing expansion, of course we're going to relax the planning laws and make capitalists a little bit more happy, so that's good to see. Homelessness is also going to decrease, but environmentalists and farmers are not happy about that. Health still decreasing but crime plummeting now, so that's good to see. And unemployment, ooh, on the rise again, so that's not great. But yeah, we have a huge surplus over here now, and I would really, really like to get that better rating, which I think we should. I mean, at 68% of GDP, that should really be starting to become a little bit better. Yeah, pollution is, I think, going to continue to be a problem. Tax evasion is going to be addressed over here, and you are super unhappy with us question is do we need to reorganize our cabinet okay let's actually start to look at you you are a religious patriot yeah you're not gonna like us a lot state employee and environmentalist environmentalist yeah well I could specifically fire you or I could reshuffle everyone reshuffling everyone is a little bit more risky though and it does entail a lot of political power cost so I would rather not do that as long as we have reasonable hope here um, of fulfilling or, or doing things that we don't want to do. So there's still the question of education that we need to address, right? So that's a big issue. On the other hand, alcohol abuse. I think what we actually need to do is we need to do introduce an alcohol tax. It's going to cost us a lot of political power, but it's the best way that I can see how we could really try to address that issue. And it's fueling so many other negative things, right? Negative th effect there on health. But it's, again, it's so much driven by the drug addiction problems. And these things are not going to go away simply based on what we've done so far. And I don't want to relax anything, so 
Is there anything that we could to help out here? Public services drug treatment scheme. Reducing demand instead of limiting supply. Yeah, I think it's what we need to do. Okay, let's go for it. I, I really want to get rid of this problem. And again, it's not going to be enough. But it's going to increase health, so that's nice to see. Because that is potentially going to get rid of the overcrowding issue here. Ultimately. I mean, private healthcare is still maxed out. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. 30 political power or 29 we're going to have next time around. Now, on the state schools, 31 we would need. So that's a little bit more than we have right now. Oh, Jesus, you're really coming up again? I would have expected you to come down here drastically. Car usage is so high. Even though we are charging for that. But yeah, the toll roads are hopefully going to have some impact over here. But yeah, Jesus, we do really need to build up our bring down car usage. Question is, do we have any, any capitalist way of doing that? I think it's mostly about banning stuff or subsidizing stuff. Carpooling campaign, telecommuting initiative. This is typically a very, very good one. Limit or ban cars? No, certainly not going to do that. I wonder what that would do for us. Driverless car laws. It's going to be expensive, but I don't think I've ever seen that. Interestingly enough, it just doesn't seem to have any effect on car usage. I think we would need the satellite road pricing to actually bring down car usage here in a capitalist fashion. You know what, let's do the telecommuting initiative. I know it's not the most capitalist way of doing things, but it is going to bring down car usage and I think everyone is going to be a little bit happy about that. Also, telecom industry is going to be increasing, which is nice because that will actually bring down, I think, socialist membership. Yeah, so that's that's nice to see. Speaking of, just where, where are we standing in terms of socialist, socialist happiness is still enormously high, even though I'm, I'm doing my best to, to fight you guys. So that's interesting to see that it's so high still. Um, but how's your membership looking? It must be coming down so drastically, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but the richest company paying no tax here, that just boosted you immensely. So that's not great. Unemployment benefits? I would really like to cancel that. But can't for now, so yeah. Oh, here we go. Credit rating upgraded. That's, that's very, very good to see. Um, I'm very, very happy about that. Big, big surplus over here of 35 billion euros per quarter so that's looking great that's actually looking super great um but what are we going to do with that we could build more roads of course um but i think it would actually increase car usage rather than anything else environmentalists wouldn't be happy about that motorists would but where would that leave us car usage is pretty much maxed out already though so if we could bring that down a little bit that would be great Traffic congestion is coming down. So how about the gridlock? Oh, oh, oh. This this might be going away soon. And that would certainly be really, really helpful um, for our approach to the election. So that would be really nice. Obesity is still a big issue. And that is... Now that's just respiratory disease. Okay, fine. That's decreasing that. But you're actually decreasing health. We do need to help out with that. How about the drugs? Starting to look better, but still not, not great. And internet crime still a big issue for everyone, actually. So that brings down happiness for everyone. And it's increasing crime. So I do think we need to fund our intelligence services here a little bit better. So you need to come down by a lot, actually, 35% or so. So let's tr oh, no, sorry. Let's try to do that. That's a lot, and liberals would hate it, but crime would come down. And interestingly enough, it helps with the private space industry. I don't know why. Oh, because it's a spy network. Got it. Yeah, but if it's not enough, then I'm not sure. Well, it's also fueled by crime, and crime would come down as well. So, yeah, maybe that's going to be useful. Increase intel services here. 
we do have this already, so this is nice, but not really making any change. Yeah, and the liberals would really, really hate it, so I'm a little bit reluctant. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's increase that. Okay, that's that's okay there. We could get up to 38 here, so let's spend at the most 9, because I want to make some drastic changes. So I think that's going to be alright. Okay, everything over here, fine. This would be kind of weird to do, but okay, I guess. Anything over here is fine. Minimum wages, we've just gotten rid of those, so that's, that's okay. Health. Tax credits? No, we don't want to do tax credit. I think we would want to do vouchers rather than anything else. Keep the country tidy. I mean, these are nice things that are increasing some things a little bit, but it's not really that that useful. I think that one of the best things that we could do is actually the carbon tax, which is very, very expensive. And it's not actually improving the, the environment, so we can't really do a lot of things that would directly help us out in terms of helping the environment, nor on the gridlock. I think what we can actually do is only go to the petrol tax, which everyone would hate, or specifically car taxes. Now I prefer petrol, personally I prefer petrol taxes to car taxes, because it's not really important whether or not you're, you have a car, if you're not moving it, it just doesn't do anything. Um, but if you are moving it, and if you're burning fuel, that is what tends to, to cause the the issues over there. But it's not really going to have a huge impact on, impact on car usage. So that's not very helpful. Would that have a, a huge impact? Yeah, it would. Which is kind of funny, I mean... This would cost us a lot of political power to raise. 21 political power. Motorist membership would fall. Well, you don't really like us anyway. And the car usage would fall. Which is helpful, but... Not... I, I dislike it. I, I somehow dislike raising taxes here to... To do that. But we do need to address the issue of the gridlock. Which might or might not be coming down anyway. Yeah, well, the toll roads... Yeah, I think you... Maybe that is going to go away on itself. Okay, so let's focus on other things. Alcohol thing, alcohol abuse, still a big issue. Internet crime, maybe going to go away. Cyberbullying. It just annoys me, but it's really not that much of a modifier, so... I don't think that's that important. Okay, so... Let's go for junk food tax. It's the most market mechanism I can find. So let's go ahead and increase that here to bring down obesity. I should have actually checked how much I need, but let's let's still do it. And hopefully that is going to decrease obesity. Yeah, we need to do it by 43% or so. And we've got 31. Hmm, that's not even enough. Yeah, let's see though. I think it might just uh, help out in the long term. Also, health is going to go up. Poverty is going to go up. So we do need to keep an eye on poverty and find some measures uh, of reducing that. Okay, so that would leave us at, well, slightly more than we can. So I think we need to at least spend three ball. Otherwise, we're wasting a little bit. So let's do, let's find something small here that we could do. I don't want to subsidize anything. It's just not really the way I like to do things. So at least not in a capitalist playthrough, right? So mm, no. Private prisons. Yeah, too expensive. Jury trial. No, no, no. Public services. Reforestation is a useful one. It's bringing down pollution, respiratory diseases, CO2 emissions. Okay, let's do it. It's it's a thing that we can do with relatively little money, and it's going to help at least some of our problems by, by direct government action, which I didn't want to do, but it's just what we can do. Okay, multinational tax evasion, gone. Good. Unemployment still continuing to come down, so that's good too. How about poverty? On relatively low levels, so that's good to see. And health, are you slowly coming up again? Yeah, just very slowly. And we've got cyber warfare, which is imminent. So that's a big problem. It's largely driven by our GDP and I think technology. 
and our poor foreign relations actually but intelligence services are being funded more and more so hopefully that is gonna not trigger I think that would be great and there are some negative effects over here oh the garbage scam is leading to that as well a little bit right right gridlock yes yes that is gonna go away and that all but make sure that we're going to be voted in again because motorists are going to lose that minus 62 percent modifier and commuters are going to lose that 38 so i think our popularity here is going to see a huge huge increase here because the groups that hate us the most right now are going to be a little bit more placated so that's good to see obesity yeah and drugs it would be really great if you could just strip down below that we don't have anything else that that does help over here I mean unemployment if you were a little bit lower if you can continue to come down that would certainly help with the drug addiction and even if you went up a little bit again afterwards it would just still help so that would be really really nice right what else have we got the respiratory diseases you should be starting to look a little bit better with the reforestation over here yeah but it's going to take a while for that to be common effective yeah and the pollution is a problem because it's increasing um, the number of environmentalists and they are just not a very happy bunch so yeah also how is our economy do uh, our environment doing well not very great but a little bit improving over the last two quarters at least so I guess that's fine right let's do something drastic state schools we're gonna cancel you we don't have any state schools anymore. <laughs> Honestly, sorry, I'm, I'm just a little bit, this is this is sometimes a little bit over the top. Um, let's go for trade councils over here. I do think a little bit more trade here would be great. Um, but let's let's see what effect that is going to have on education. I'm, I'm really intrigued to, to see how that is going to go. Oh yeah, and now we have environmental protests. I, I thought so. But the good thing is traffic congestion has gone, the gridlock has just gone away. So that's nice to see. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, and I'm of course going to allow for the plans of aircraft expansions. Right. Okay, expenditures here drop down drastically. So that's very, very great to see. And we are earning a lot of money right now. Our popularity has gone up, I suppose, even though we've just cancelled all schooling. Education still seems fine. Um, I think that still might be somewhat due to the fact that we've still... The effect of state schools so yeah I think that's okay but private schools should start to increase a lot over here as well so that's nice to see but poverty is probably coming up and that is probably gonna have some very negative effects here on items like drug usage yeah because poverty is driving that up again we're so so close to, to losing that what could we do what is influencing that Police force, armed police actually, interesting. Violent crime, drug addiction. How much more do we need? Well, five percentage points or so. So that's not that much. So if we increase the armament of our police. Yeah, probably needs to be a little bit more, right? So, yeah, five percentage points, that's actually a lot. Yeah, it's not having a huge effect here, so violent crime, I mean, this is not a big issue here, so yeah, probably we want to do some, some items that directly have an impact um, on poverty a little bit more. And I think the way to go about that is via vouchers. That should drive down poverty a lot. And we do have you know what? I think that's that's perfectly fine. Let's implement the school vouchers over here and try to bring down poverty uh, by being pretty generous on these things. Unless, of course, it's going to cost us a lot of money. Equality is going to go up. Everyone's income is going to go up. And private schools are going to go up drastically. So I think this is, this is a fair change over here. It's basically replacing all of the money that we've spent on schools publicly by a school voucher system so that's fine I don't think we need to spend quite as much due to the education focus uh, but still on the poverty side I think it's all right human development where's poverty this poverty yeah so what's increasing poverty 
The sales tax, interesting. Okay. Junk food tax, of course, yeah. But the vouchers are all decreasing that, so that's nice to see. Rent controls. Oh, we do have rent controls? I want to get rid of those. Charity. Charity could decrease poverty. And abolishing the sales tax could do the same. This is generating quite a bit of income for now, though, so... Might be nice to get rid of that. Equality is also coming down. That being said, I think the more capitalist approach would be to reduce the income tax. Um, or actually, oh, wait a minute, I think one thing that we can do, at least theoretically, is go for a flat income tax. So, that's interesting. That's a very, very interesting alternative over here. Sort of everyone hates that, but I, what I'm guessing is they would hate that less than the current system of taxation. It would cost us 43 political power, so we don't quite, can't quite do that now. But I think it's interesting to, to contemplate that. Let's uh, try to save up some political powers. Okay, so someone has resigned and someone has left our um, issue there. And we're starting to see some water issues here that we will need to address. That's going to be potentially hugely costly. Unemployment coming down, nice. Poverty, mm, still very high. So probably still drug abuse. Yeah, no, 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 it's coming down a little bit. So that's that's good to see. How about some of these other things? Just alcohol abuse, still a big issue. Internet crime should come down very slowly. But it should come down. And we are very popular, so I'm, I, I think I'm, we're doing not too badly over here. For now. Hospital overcrowding? Yeah, it's starting to become a little bit better. Respiratory diseases? I have absolutely no hope that we're going to be able to tackle that. That's nice to see, though. Okay, that being said, I think now is a very good place to put in a cut. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, let's check one thing. Yeah, no terrorists here. So, that's nice to see. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye, guys.